Hey everybody, this is Julian. Welcome to my favorite series on my channel, Come With Me. So I'm here at a new plant nursery for my channel. I'm about 25 to 30 miles from my home in Long Beach. I'm here with my best friend Evelyn and she lives in Long Beach so I thought it'd be like a really good idea to come to a nursery in her area and then we're gonna have lunch after this. So let me know down in the comments below what did you think about this nursery. I'm really excited because I'm surrounded around cactus and succulents right now and I love exploring new nurseries. So I'll know down below what was your favorite part of this nursery and let's go ahead and take a tour. Alright guys, so now we're in like the succulent section which is like probably one of my favorites. I see so many different varieties I'm kind of interested in prices, but take a look at these beautiful Echeveria blooms. Like how lovely are these? I don't think I have a bloom this tall, but I just love to see succulent blooms whenever they do appear in me. So let's go ahead and just kind of walk around and see what they have. I'm really excited to see if there's any wish list plants that maybe I haven't seen in person here at their nursery. And that's one thing I like about nurseries is that you never know what you're gonna get as far as for variety. Every nursery has something to offer and I'm really excited to see what they have. So as you can see, there's a lot of different Echeverias here. And I see a little bit of cactuses in between. You definitely don't want to get these pokies on you when you're transplanting them. So I would definitely use like a little thumb, a kitchen thumb. But take a look at all the beautiful bright colors. I think it's so stunning. We got the donkey's tail here, which is very fussy when it comes to transplanting it. You definitely don't want to touch it too much. Um, and then we can come along to this way and see what they have. Oh, take a look at here. This is one thing I like about nurseries is that if you look in different spaces, whether it's above you or below you, there might be some hidden gems. So we have like some really big colanchos here. And these go for, I want to say $12.50. No way. If this is $12.50, guys, like how stunning is this? I think if this is $12.50, I'm going to have to get this. Colanchos in my collection are very, very tiny, but I've never seen, like take a look compared to me, how big and stunning this thing is. I think if it is $12.50, I may have to take this one home, but I just literally stepped two, two steps, physical steps in this section and I already see something that is very affordable. And this is definitely one of my favorites here. Oh, okay, so these two is actually on my top 10 here. This is the Key Lime Pie. I just love how like it's puffy and cute. The strawberry fire tails, I actually see this a lot in big box centers. I love how stunning this Black Knight Echeveria is where it has mm. that ombre in there, like green and that dark color on there. I love that a lot. Evie, say hi. Hi. So Evelyn is my bestie that gave me all of the plant cuttings in Long Beach. We're here in her neighborhood. So thank you, Evie, for hanging out on my yeah. channel. All right, so here we are. Gonna give you guys one glance here of this table. I just love all the variety and how everything is organized. One of my favorites also, this is a Cressula Galoom and then the elephant's bush which I am propagating right now and take a look at this small little guy here this is like the golden barrel if I'm not mistaken and I've never seen it like mixed in with the succulents and I love the um, bear the bear paw green bear paws in fact these are really healthy and they're like really like branchy like I love that it's like a little tree and then we come into like the bigger section and I'm kind of interested in prices. So it looks like, I take a look here, $10 for the Echeveria Ruffles, which is this guy here. And then we come into like the $8 babies. Evelyn's moving the cart <laughs> as we walk through. Oh my goodness. Take a look at all of this. Look at how beautiful the crown of thorn blooms are. That is so stunning. So we have yellow, and we have pink here and I'm kind of interested to see if anything else is priced around here I love the blooms though of this take a look at that oh, Evelyn's up in the mix Evelyn what do you think about this nursery for hardly coming to nurseries cool. They've got a, lot. a lot of variety and then take a look at all of this like oh my goodness so right away I see some donkey's tail here. Kind of interested to see what prices are because nothing is priced. And then if we took a look here. 
We have the string of hooks, so the Senecio family is here. And then, as you can tell, the string of bananas is here. Look at this big begonia. Love this. So pretty. These are like begonia dreams. If only my begonia could get this big, I'd be like really, really happy. So stunning. The, the ficus, huh? Wow, okay. The ficus lorata, fiddle leaf fig. They're very finicky, so if you don't have a green thumb, those plants are very expensive and they're a big investment. Variegated flax lily for 12. The polka dot splash plant, the fox hill ferns for 8. This looks like a begonia to me. And the fern for $10. Not quite sure what this is. Miniature gardenia for 12. This is cute. And then I just want to kind of spotlight this guy right here, which calls to me. And this guy is the only zigzag cactus that I see. So guys, tell me what do you guys think? Do you like this nursery? Are you loving it? Definitely drop me a thumbs up because it took me a while to get down here in Los Angeles traffic and kind of curious to see if they have any more house plants. This is just one section of the nursery and the nursery goes all the way back behind me. So I think you grabbed that like three times now, Evelyn. You're attracted to it because so cute you just like I the shape of it i love the little white the little tails little, the fuzzy little white balls yeah mm -hmm. i think i'm gonna cute. have to get it okay oh my goodness a nursery kitty are you friendly can i pet you oh my gosh ev how cute evelyn is up in the mix you look so cute between all these green Evelyn, by the way, we're going to have to talk about your succulent cactus garden oh, yeah. and yeah, how your plants are doing, your birthday plants. Their uh, succulents are doing great. Okay, good to hear. My goodness, look at this big, beautiful succulent bloom. I want to see what they have here. Look at this big, they call it necklace vine here. And my favorite, the Crestula ovada variegata. Evelyn, this is one of my favorites here, the Crescula ovada variegata. It's the jade plant, but variegated. I love seeing butterflies at nurseries. I love it. Everything here is nice and healthy. Foxtail agave for eight. Look at this beautiful echeverias. Wow, what is this? How pretty is that? I might have to get this. This is so unique. I've never seen anything like this before. Palancho Silver Spoon. Love this. The Variegated Lavender Scallops. I have cuttings like this from Evelyn. The Purple Tree Aeonium. It is Aeonium season. I don't know what this guy is, but almost has like a Cressula vibe to it. Or a Calancho vibe more. More like a Calancho vibe. Sticks on fire. Painted Echeveria and the paddle plant, or one of the calanchos that I have in my collection. I love the clusters of these, they're so pretty. Tritoscantia Purple Heart, Echeveria Blue Sky. I love how everything is like labeled, I love that a lot. The Ghost Plant, very trendy in the succulent world. Trailing Jade, the Senecio. It's not that trailing yet, but nice to see here. And then we get down here to the Crown of Thorns. Evelyn went that way, so I want to go ahead and see where she went. Look at how cute this is. I love it. How stunning. Whoever styled this is amazing. Pretty. Oh my goodness. Love it. Wow. 
This is so beautiful. What succulent dreams are made of. So stunning. Pretty. By the way, guys, take a look at this Senecio trilling jade. I've never seen it trill this long. And then like from the fountain planter, like look at that underneath there. So cool. Guys, they got little things here. Oh, Evelyn's calling me, okay. Guys, I really like, got stuck back there with the fountains. Like how cool is that? I think this is the first nursery I've ever been at that styled succulents in fountains. So now we're in this section here. Like how beautiful is this nursery? I think the prices here are very reasonable. If you look behind me, there's all edibles. I mean, I feel like I'm in plant heaven. Oh my God, I'm dying. Evelyn, you found more succulents. Take a look at this. I'm living right now my pl best plant life. This is so cool. Guys, I'm blown away. Like I was blown away by that first section here. But then like take a look at all of the babies here. I'm I'm in love. I mean, look at the variegated jade here. They're really, really big. And then the echeverias and the colanchos. Take a look at this colancho, how yellow it is. I've never seen a colancho this yellow before. Wow. You could stay here all day. So pretty. The jelly bean sedums, more echeverias, the aeoniums are down there. I mean, everything is organized and all of the plants look super healthy. The Sinicio trailing jade. I'm loving it. Like, I want to know what's in these greenhouses here. Guys, thumbs up this video. This may be my favorite plant nursery of Southern California. We just kind of just touched like the beginning part of the nursery. So here we go. We got more succulent babies here. I'm in love. Look at all of this purple heart Tritoscantia. Evelyn for size. Oh, One of my favorite colanchos. Look at how big they are. Oh my goodness, you guys. I'm dying right now fire sticks I see more succulents here I think what I'm gonna do is of course do a whole walkthrough and then make some choices here take a look at all of this so cool to see oh my god you guys like look at this i can't i just can't i always like looking at their workstations too i don't know if this is off limit or not but i'm thinking we can walk through this look at how i think this is moses in the cradle right here and we have the cressula galoom elephant's bush or the portulacaria afra and then we have a bromeliad here definitely gives jumanji vibes up in here like take a look at this so fun this is definitely worth the drive for sure we have more crown of thorns here Whoa, that's the biggest colanchos I've ever seen in my entire life. They're like almost taller than me. Whoa, how much is this? Evelyn, this is too cool. Look at that, guys. Like, look at this. Compared to me, it's almost as tall as me. This is like the tallest colanchos I've ever seen in my entire plant life. I'm kind of curious to see what the price is. Wow, look at all of this. Plant heaven, the aeoniums. I love how they're propagating here, guys. Take a look at this. 
propagation. This is by far like the best nursery I've seen in Southern California, or maybe just in general of all of my come with me episodes. Look, they got the Sensevaria cylindrica, one of my favorites. I mean, it goes on and on and on. And there's another greenhouse too. Oh, look at the butterfly. Love that. Just circled around me. It's following me, guys. Wow. There's Evelyn over there. <laughs> And then here's just like a point of view of what we just walked through right now. So beautiful. About this greenhouse. Let me know what do you guys think. There's so much to see, like I just can't. And the crazy thing is, is that nothing's priced. So if I do see anything I want, I'm gonna have to go ahead and ask them and probably bring the plant up because this is a really big greenhouse. If you guys haven't already, definitely give me a thumbs up. This is by far the best plant nursery, greenhouse, the biggest actually greenhouse I've ever been in all of my series. I think this place is stunning. The prices are reasonable. And I know there's one more greenhouse behind us, so I definitely want to check that out. But the colanchos here, like take a look. I'm just going to highlight it again really quickly. For size reference, like take a look at this. It's like almost taller than me. I don't know. I mean, I have a lot of colanchos, but they're like this small, so that's very impressive. But just take a look, like reference for size how big this place is like, you can just leave me here all day and i'll just be like consumed with plants no problem guys so i think i'm gonna take you guys through this section here um, because there's more succulents i think this place is very impressive not so much cactus babies at least that i didn't come across but definitely whoever owns this nursery is the king or queen of propagating babies because their variety and the amount that they have and the way how they organize things like take a look at how yellow this jade is wow so pretty i mean i'm very impressed this is definitely my favorite nursery here's a little bit of cactus babies here this place is impressive and of course shoes of the day is white oh gosh julian smart one to go ahead and take a look again one more time off camera just because I am so consumed with everything but I'm definitely gonna go back to that first section where I started and then end in that section in that greenhouse and figure out what plot babies I'm going to get this place is amazing and probably one of my favorite places I've ever featured on my channel for come with me I'm so happy that Evelyn lives in this area if you welcome to my channel definitely hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified whenever I do an upload I try to do at least five videos a week spreading plant love each and every video here on my channel you can find more on my blog at ilovejulian.blogspot.com until next time aloha from long beach bye